I met you in the dark. You lit me up. You made me feel as though I was enough. So I'm gonna love you till my lungs give out. And I promise till death we part, like in our vows. So I wrote this song for you. Now everybody knows, mm. darling, it's just you and me until we're gray and old. Mm. Just say you won't let go. Just say you won't let go. Special delivery. Honey, today starts our next chapter. I can't wait until we hear now presenting Mr. and Mrs. Pierre Claiborne. I love you always, Brittany. My daughter's wedding. <laughs> I survived my daughter. <laughs> I survived my daughter's wedding. Yeah, really, because it's been a stressful year, fellas. Y'all think it's almost easy? Oh my God! I thought I, I thought it was kind of calm, dude. But you know what? This is um, something to um, wait a whole year to give your daughter away. You know. I will love your son with all my heart for all of my life. Thank you for entrusting me with a piece of your heart and for raising the man of my dreams. Love you. Hey, lovely. Look at my beautiful daughter. Huh. Look at my beautiful daughter. Thank you, boo boo. Did I look nervous? Oh, okay, good. Because I, guess I am. Um, yes? Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. True love and faithful observance of your marriage vows are required as the foundation and cornerstone of a successful marriage and the establishment thereof. Without these, there can be no real marriage, and the home which you will endeavor to establish will be an effort in futility. Keep the solemn vows you are about to make. Live with tender consideration for each other. Conduct your lives in honesty and truth, endeavoring to be transparent with each other, and your marriage will last. Your home will be a place of peace, and your children will call you blessed. For a long time, I prayed for certain things in a woman that never seemed to present itself. What I had to realize was I was in a waiting period. I had to wait for the person who was for me to be ready as well. And on November 24th, 2017, my wait was over. I can see it now that everything before you was nothing but waiting. Waiting for a place in my heart to be filled. 
waiting for the person God created for me, waiting for you. There's a few people here right now that I text on our first date telling them she's the one. I'm going to put my all into her. And from that day until now, I've done exactly that. I vow to thank God every morning that he gave me you. I vow to be the woman that you inspire me to be and the woman that you deserve. I vow to love you deeply, wholeheartedly, and with all my soul. I promise to respect you, to care, and protect you, to comfort and encourage you. I met you with a purpose. I dated you with a purpose. And right now, I am marrying you with a purpose. On this day, I take my place as your wife, a commitment made in love, kept in faith. I choose love, I choose you. Make you the bride. <laughs> <laughs> I charge you to be the best husband you can be, and most importantly, her fiercest protector. He looked at me one day in the car and he said, bro, she the one. I looked back and I said, what? <laughs> so I called the rest of my crew. I said, bro, he tripping, talking about she the one. I ain't met her yet. But I can honestly say, from that day to now, moving forward, when this guy is locked in, like y'all seen him earlier today, when he love, he love hard. He can go to the ends of the earth, and nothing's gonna stand in the way. So I can say to the Atkins family, y'all got a winner. I'm stuck. 